So you want to get the Sodium mod for Minecraft 1.18.2. What does Sodium do? Well, it actually allows you to increase the performance of Minecraft. As you can see in this screenshot here, it is 1.18.2. It goes from 77 FPS to 318 FPS. Additionally, you can actually install Iris shaders and use shaders with Sodium. However, we're going to be going over that in this specific video. You can also see some of the performance increases you get on like a Ryzen 5 2600, 88 FPS to 408. 18 FPS absolutely insane some of the FPS increases you can get even stuff like a very old Intel i5 processor going from 36 to 89 FPS so overall absolutely insane some of the performance increases you can get with sodium and we're going to show you exactly how to get sodium in this video first though we have Mr. Mars sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex to start an incredible 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server we love it just Apex so much so we host our own server play it our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your own server look no further than apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to get your server up and running nevertheless let's go ahead and get sodium up and running in minecraft the first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here this is sodium's official download page when you're on this page you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you find the minecraft 1.18 section under that you'll find sodium mc 1.18.2 that's the Minecraft 1.18.2 version of Sodium. Click the orange download button to the right of that, and after a few seconds, the download will begin. Now, you might need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. If you're on Google Chrome, that's going to be keeping it in the bottom left down here, or on Mozilla Firefox, you can save it in the center of your screen. Now, we're not completely finished, though. We still need to download Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that Sodium uses to actually work with Minecraft. You can find our link to Fabric at the third link in the description down below, and when you click that, it's going to take you here where you want to scroll down and click on the yellow download fabric button. Now, this is an in-depth guide to getting fabric, and if you do have any issues, you can go through this tutorial, but nevertheless, once you're here, click on the download fabric button. That will take you to fabric's official download page, where we want to click on this download universal jar link right here, right? See that's under this download for Windows button. The reason we're doing this is going to make sure that all mods work for you in the future. If we go this route versus the Windows route, won't do that. So we want to download the universal jar here. When we click on that, it's going to download on the bottom left, where again, you'll need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Finally, we can minimize our browser and we need to get the files we downloaded to our desktop. To do that, press the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Click on that and then type in Downloads. You have the Downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here is Fabric and Sodium. Drag this to your desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, we're going to start off with Fabric. Now, if these icons look different for you, that's perfectly okay. Let's see if we can open up the Fabric installer. Right-click on Fabric, click on Open With. If you have Java, click on it and click OK. But what if you don't have Java there? Well, if you don't have Java, this wouldn't have opened, and your icons might not be correct. To fix both of those issues, the un like not being able to open up the Fabric installer, and your icons not being correct, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and Sodium is a mod, so Java 17 is needed for it. This is a simple three-step process on getting Java. We also have this in-depth video if you'd rather go that route. Now, for most people, that's going to fix the issue. For some of you, though, your icons still may look weird. They might not look correct and to fix that you need to run the jar fix however only run the jar fix after getting java so step one get java step two run the jar fix and it's a simple program it's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to java making them work together finally you should be able to minimize your browser right click on the fabric installer click on open with click java and click ok that's going to open up the fabric installer here where you want to make sure the 1.18.2 version of fabric is selected then click install that fast it's going to install fabric the only reason it might not work right is because you either have minecraft open or you have never played minecraft 1.18.2 without any mods just vanilla minecraft 1.18.2 if either of those are the case then you need to either close out of minecraft or go play minecraft 1.18.2 and then close out of it nonetheless let's go ahead and click ok there and we can close out of the fabric installer we can delete the fabric installer from our desktop and let's get sodium installed to do this you want to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher now in the minecraft launcher you probably are Already have a fabric profile selected right away and if you do that's great but if you don't I'm gonna show you how to fix it and how to get a fabric profile if you don't have one 
So as you can see here, we do have Fabric Loader 1.18.2. We're good there. Don't click play, by the way. That's not how Fabric works in comparison to other mod loaders. You don't install it from in-game, so we don't want to click play. But if you have the Fabric Loader here, you're good to go. But if you don't have Fabric Loader, click on this little arrow, see if it's here. And if it's not in this list, click on installations at the top. Then make sure modded is selected. As you can see, modded is unselected and it disappears. Boom, there we go. If you have fabric, awesome. If you still don't have fabric, 1.18.2 here, click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible survival and skyblock 1.18.2 Minecraft server. It's truly the best Minecraft server out there. Come play on it. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, let's go and click the version drop down box here. And the most important thing in this entire page is this click that version drop down box and select release fabric loader 1.18.2. Once you've got that selected, you're good to go. I'm also going to change our resolution, so once we do in game, get in game, we can see. Nevertheless, let's go and click the green create button in the bottom right. And now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has Fabric Loader 118.2 under it. Now, no matter what, whether you just created your own Fabric profile like we did, or whether you have the Fabric Loader right like so, what you want to do is hover over this and click on the folder. This could either be this Fabric Loader up here or this one, play.breakdowncraft.com. How do you get to this page? From the installation. Tab. So if you're on play here, click installations at the top and hover over whichever fabric profile you want. No matter which one it is, when you click on that folder, it's going to take you to this. As you can see, the .minecraft folder there, if we do it on the fabric loader, it's going to take us to the .minecraft folder. Now in here, what we want to do is find our mods folder. And as you can see, I had a mods folder, I deleted it because you may not have a mods folder. And if you don't, that's okay. Just right click, create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up your new mods folder and then drag and drop sodium into the mods folder right like so. Once you've done that, close out of the mods folder and now we can go to fabric and click play either on the one you created or on that fabric installation it doesn't matter they're both going to work now minecraft's going to open up with fabric and sodium installed this may take a few minutes to do but that's perfectly normal as mods do take longer they have vanilla minecraft to open but um yeah now we just kind of sit back wait and i'll meet you on the main menu to show you that sodium is installed here we are on the minecraft main menu now by default there's no really way to see that sodium is installed from the main menu. But if you go into options and then video settings, you'll very quickly see that sodium is installed. Um, as you can see here, it's all completely different, your entire video settings. You can now go through and change these, for example, quality, performance, and advanced settings to be able to increase FPS in sodium. It's kind of crazy what you can do using sodium and getting FPS increases with it. Nonetheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content every single day of the week, and enjoy the Sodium mod in Minecraft. Also, be sure to come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Survival Skyblock 1.18, it is absolutely amazing. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.